We're working new details tonight on a deadly fire investigation in Pawtucket. It's a story that was first breaking yesterday here on Eyewitness News. Today, police officially identified the man who was killed, but investigators are still trying to figure out how he died and how the fire started. Eyewitness News reporter Katherine Sotnik went back to the scene today on Broadway in Pawtucket. She joins us live now with what she uncovered. Susan and Mike, we've learned the fire victim is 57-year-old Derek Ellerby. He was unconscious when firefighters pulled him out of this triple-decker in Pawtucket yesterday. His friends are deeply saddened by his death and tell us that Ellerby was employed as a longtime cook at Brown University. Fire investigators pulled Derek Ellerby from the third floor of this triple-decker on Broadway. The fire chief says he was found unconscious on the floor of his bedroom. Was he breathing at the time? Uh, at that time, um, we didn't have um, any uh, respirations at that time. He was pronounced dead at Memorial Hospital. Jane Noons was on the first floor at the time. She tried to run up the stairs to rescue him. It was all smoke in the uh, hallway. I couldn't see nothing. It was all smoke on the second floor. And throughout the day, fire investigators and the state fire marshal's office reconstructed the scene. Police are also involved in the investigation. Officials are also looking into whether alcohol or drugs were involved. Police and fire officials say several of the tenants say they had been drinking all day. Eyewitnesses, we did, the people that we were talking to, yes, they claimed there was some drinking involved. The victim, we do not know at this time. Fire investigators also tell us a fire did start in the living room of LRB's apartment. Eyewitnesses tell us moments before the fire, LRB had gone upstairs to take a nap. And an autopsy on LRB's body was being performed today. The exact cause of death has still not yet been released. And another victim who lived on the first floor, he was taken to the hospital. And at last check, he was in fair condition. I'm Katherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.